G'day guys, welcome to part two of my pantry organization. If you haven't seen part one, I'll leave it in the cards up here so you can go and check that out first. But I am so excited with how it's turned out. I've had a massive change with my containers that I've used. Let's get into it. This has got the chip in it and this lock function, I thought would make it really hard to get the lid off, but it's not that hard. So I don't know how well that is actually sealing then because the lock is down. You can get it off. Dave made it look a lot easier than what I am. <laughs> so it ended up being an absolute blessing that they came damaged. That's what I shared in the other video because I got a full refund and I decided because they weren't that airtight that I would wait and have a look in store. So we were down in Warrnambool for a little mini holiday and so I saw these food containers with the bamboo lid and so I went and checked each one of them and they just had an awesome seal so i have to agree with what bam bam said about those other containers and that is yeah they look fancy but they just weren't airtight whereas these ones here are airtight so after i'd removed all the packaging i decided to give them a wash and do you find that this cloth always comes so big i just cut it in half and away we go so just some nice hot soapy water Because it's got bamboo I'm just going to be putting the plastic in the water and the bamboo I'm just going to give a really good wipe down I don't want to submerge that in the water and then I'm going to actually give it a bit of a dry before just putting it on the tea towel to just completely dry I also mentioned in a recent Instagram post that we've actually swapped coffees we're having Makona coffee because I like their containers um, at the moment we've got some in there with some biscuits that we have with Bickies and cheese so I just thought I'd be a bit more intentional with the containers that are coming in so we've swapped to Makona coffee I'd love to know what containers you're using in the pantry are they airtight are you happy with them do you find them aesthetically pleasing let me know in the comments Once they're all dry, this isn't even the same day. This video took me over a month to film just because I got the containers at different times depending on stock levels. So what I'm doing now is I'm just transferring, so that's the custard powder into a little one and then I'm putting the date, the use by date on the bottom so that I know when it's used by and then I'm just putting the lid on. And I didn't even have the labels at this stage so I'm just putting them in and remembering what's what. But I want to make it super clear that this pantry makeover didn't just happen in a day <laughs> um, with stock levels and life. Um, I just did a bit when I could and it's turned out great. I'm so happy with it now. But I just want to keep this real. And look at this, the sugar doesn't all fit. So what did I do? I ended up thinking we actually don't use that much sugar. So I put some back and then I've just kept it. We'll use the other container first. I didn't want to put sugar in a big one because like I said, we don't use it that much. So my plan for the long run is where that bread is and the cups are, that's going to be where all these containers are going to go next to the cans. So it's just high enough that the kids can't reach it, but it's a good eye height for me so that I can see them. Next, I want to have a chat about labels. So previously I've made my own. I've shared a whole video on that, how I did it with packing tape as well as a laser printer. But this time I'm just going to be using the reject shop ones. So they're so inexpensive. You get five sheets for $4 and I'm going to show you right here what comes in them. So there's four sheets with really large labels and then they've got the herbs and spices label, which is smaller. This is so easy to use. It's just like using stickers. I know some people use the Cricut as well, um, but four dollars i'm so happy with these and last time i got a really basic font whereas this time i've gone a little bit more cursive it is so clear and so easy to see and it's just very aesthetically pleasing so that's how i've set it up unfortunately i put the breadcrumbs and the panko breadcrumbs together that's why it's the different colors and right here i just wanted to show you a close-up of that seal because i haven't before now and like i said i just put the use by date on the bottom These containers from Kmart have an awesome seal and they're also just so space efficient. So 
looking at all that if they were all in plastic bags that would take up a lot more space and today I'm just going to be working up here this top shelf Kmart finally has those Lazy Susans so I'm going to be using those so let's do it How many Lazy Susans have you got in your house? We've got one with all the spreads, one with some cleaning products, and then we've got these two. So I'm up to four, but they're so handy. I'm definitely gonna have to get another one. This top section took me one hour. I just got everything out, um, had a look at some of the use by dates on it, and also just gave it a really good clean up the top. You never know what you're gonna find up there. <laughs> These boxes down the bottom are not aesthetically pleasing, but they're practical. So each child has their own box that they put their bag in. So like I said, they finally arrived, they got delivered, they came from two different shops, so they came in two different packages. So it's 1.5 litre um, turntable and the great thing about it is it has the side, which I really wanted. So it was $9 from Kmart and I didn't have a win with the sticker, <laughs> you know, sometimes you can just rip the whole thing off. So I tried it with some vinegar first and then I just went with my trusty eucalyptus oil and wiped it off, no worries. Um, the eucalyptus just works so well and just gets all that sticky residue off. It's actually really dirty up here. Some of the vinegars and oils have just leaked or dripped onto the top up here. So the camera's actually been quite nice because it is quite bad and you'll see how bad the cloth is. And that's the other great thing about the turntable. If they leak, they're gonna be in the turntable and so I just need to clean that rather than cleaning up this whole thing. So that's gonna work a lot better. I remember seeing someone who had their toaster in a container so that their toast crumbs didn't go everywhere. I haven't done that yet but I do notice the toast crumbs going all over the shelf that I have to vacuum quite regularly. So probably only a matter of time. All right, it's time to go through and have a look at some of these expiry dates. I was never gonna eat this hot chili. Um, Dave doesn't want it, so it's going. My aim is to have all our oils in one container and sprays and also the white vinegar, which we use as rinse aid sometimes. space saver and I'm just stoked that actually fits the vinegar in it like that is awesome and then we tend to just use that one what amazing space saving so all those bottles in those two turntables, they used to take up about that much space. Brilliant, I'm gonna have heaps of space at the top. Next, I went through our vitamins. We've got our ones that we do tend to have consistently, which is vitamin C, but some of these others were just out of date. So I asked Dave to go through them as well and decide what we we're keeping and what we weren't. And then I chucked them in the organics and then I took them straight outside and put them in the organics bin. So there's no chance the kids will get their hands on them. And then I've put those cast wine up there as well as some hydrolytes. And then I don't want to get rid of these steak knives. So I've put them on the side there next to Dave's lunchbox. In the bin! Joking. And then I think this is a joke from Mighty Car Mods. Dave's been saying in the bin. So I said that joke for him. As always, there's a few odd sods and I just move them to our cup cupboard. So that's it. All done. So two turntables vitamins, protein powder in that container, that's just from Big W, wines, some extra oil, thermos, saves us money when we're out and about, and some hydrolite. And then I've just put Dave's bag in a box, which is gonna work really well, so he just knows to put it in there each time. And then just some extra cutlery and stuff. And the kids have their own boxes too, down the bottom here, and that's working really well. They just know to put their bags in there. So the other thing I wanted to talk about is, as you'll know, I've got some space here. So what I've discovered with decluttering and organizing is you need to be about 80% capacity. So you need 20% just spare space, or as soon as you get something, 
you disorganized again because you don't have the space to put it. So that's why I've deliberately left that big space there so that if we need to put something up there, we can and it won't throw everything out and it won't be looking like a disorganized mess. Thanks heaps for watching. If you're not already subscribed, hit that red button, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye.